Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk about Switch Docks. So we're all familiar with the original dock that came with the Switch. Uh, it's large, it's chunky, it works well if it sits next to your TV and you don't move it. But we know the Switch is a portable machine and we like to take it to other people's places, to your friend's house and you want to play it. Taking this thing around is really cumbersome and you really don't want to do it. So then uh, people started coming out with these things. So these are like third party mini docks. Uh, they work okay. Uh, I did a review of this one. Um, this worked about 50% of the time. You have to like do some sort of weird pairing, juggling magic. So you would maybe have to plug in the HDMI first and then the power last, otherwise it won't work properly. So I still haven't quite figured out what the correct combination is. But eventually if you just keep unplugging and plugging stuff in, it'll eventually start working. So this was okay for a bit. And then we heard about reports of you know third party docks uh, bricking the switch. So I thought, uh, I'm not going to take that risk. So what I did was I decided to 3D print uh, some enclosures for the original dock. So what that means is uh, inside here, there's a small chip uh, about this big, which has all the USB ports, the, the USB-C, the HDMI, and then the, the USB 3 port as well. Uh, it's basically about the size of, like a, of a card. So you take, take this uh, dock apart and then you take the chip out and then you can basically put it inside another case. So I went online um, and then I found this design and I 3D printed it. The print quality isn't great, but that's because um, I couldn't, you know, I'm not a good 3D printer. I don't know how to set the settings properly, so maybe it was going too fast. So don't worry about the quality of the print, that's my fault. But the quality of the design, let's talk about that. So this one's quite nice, it's very compact. Uh, the space inside here is basically just enough to fit that um, board and then they have space for the, the two USBs and then also space for the HDMI, the USB port and then the USB-C port. So this is very compact. Uh, the best thing about this design is at the front there's a little slot so you can actually fit the, the LED. So that LED uh, on the front of the original dock can actually fit here and then it will shine through as well which is great. Uh, I had a problem with this one though, it was a little bit too tight so when I put everything together and I screwed everything down um, it stopped working. So what I think is, uh, I think the ribbon cable, which goes to the USB-C port, is it being pressed down too much, and there's not enough space for it to, to wrap around. So when I put everything down, it was too tight, and it just didn't work. So what I did was, I tried a different design. So again, I'll link the links to all the designs. They're all on Thingiverse uh, in the description, so you guys can have a look. So this is the other one I printed. So didn't have any other filament, so we went with this, uh, this pink orange combo, not my favorite color scheme, but it is what it is. Again, uh, there's some layer shifting. Again, my 3D printing skills are not great. Probably didn't calibrate it properly. But anyway, print quality aside, uh, the design is quite good actually. So it's a bit bigger than this one, as you can see. It's wider. Uh, it's got a hole here, so I guess it's, it's, it can hide the, the plug heads a bit better. Uh, but the best thing is, this is a bit taller. So it's, it's a bit taller and there's more space for the actual cable. Uh, and also, it actually repurposes the spring mechanism uh, from the original dock as well. So this is great. On this one, uh, it actually came with these pins, uh, and because my print quality wasn't great, I had to shave it and stuff before it worked. So this makes it easier because re it reuses the pin, so there's a higher chance that your switch will be able to dock onto it. You know, you don't have to care about the print quality too much on this one, as long as you know, it fits inside. So I fitted the, the stuff inside here, and then we'll see if it works. Oh, one last thing. Uh, this hasn't got an LED spot at the front, but it does have these vents at the back. So what I did was I rerouted the cable to the back, uh, and then put the LED in the back, so at least there's some way to tell whether um, the switch is on or not. So I put this all together, so let's see if this works. I'm gonna take the cable out of the original dock, Start with the yeah, HDMI cable. So HDMI cable in and the USB C cable obviously in. in. Alright, okay. So let's put this on. So that's on. You can see the charging indicator is turned on now. And my TV has actually switched to the other input. So if we turn the switch on the TV should start displaying 
the switch. Okay, so there we go, there's the switch. And also um, at the back, that LED I mentioned, there it is, it's actually turned on. So yes, it works, this is great. Um, 3D print quality, not that great, but I would highly recommend printing this one if you've got a good quality 3D printer. So anyway, thanks for watching guys.